Hey y'all, the day has arrived. See y'all, it's getting hauled out this morning for some bottom painting and a bunch of other repairs. Now it has been raining for days. I've never experienced anything quite like this since we've had a boat, but it's really calm right now, cloudy but calm. So we'll just be heading around the bend in just a little bit and can't wait to see what all happens while she's out of the water. And meanwhile, we're heading to a cruise. Like our boat never rocks in the slip. It was totally rocking. So hauling your home out is different than hauling your boat out. You know, a lot to prepare for as far as, you know, just putting stuff away. It's gonna be a lot of uh, people working on the boat all week. And then, you know, taking care of putting valuables away and moving those. We got them off the boat entirely, yeah. yeah. But it's just, it's just a weird feeling, I think, when you're hauling out your home. Somebody's gonna be in your home for a week. I don't know, it's more of just a feeling, I would say. It's yeah. a weird feeling. Plus, when you take your boat to a boatyard, there's no guarantees of how long it needs to be there, what all they're gonna find while it's there. So we're going on this cruise, we get back, today's Monday, we get back on Friday, and like we can't get off the cruise and go home because our boat will, at the very least, still be there all day Friday. But we don't even know if it for sure will be done by Friday evening. So we've had to make some preliminary plans of where we can go when we get off the cruise ship and until we get our boat back. We're either gonna stay at a hotel or stay with friends, but just a whole other consideration that when your boat is your home, that you gotta consider when you're getting the haul out. The other thing that's a little wonky is we've had our boat hauled out before, but boat yards are just different, right? So they do a lot of you know, putting boats in the water, taking boats out of the water. And the communication's not always the best as far as, oh, when you're gonna be hauled out and, um, you know, what exactly is going on. And even the uh, people that are working on your boat in the boat yard, just like, yeah, just drop it off and tell us what you need type of thing. I'm used to a little bit more planning and scheduling ahead of time, especially if they have to order parts and everything, but I guess they have to wait until they check on it to see what parts they need. So I wanted to share something about my darling husband, Captain Tommy. He is such a romantic at heart. So we are going on a Disney cruise. We're heading out on the Disney Wonder. No kids, no grandkids going along, just us two together. It's a recon <laughs> trip though for our cruise. grandkids. Yes, to take our grandkids another time. But um, he bought this trip a few months ago and totally surprised me. Which, you know, after 35 years of marriage, almost 36, I love that about my husband, that he wants to have these special occasions and special moments. So it's sure to be fun, and we'll have to share pictures of us on Pirate Night. Get ready. Up ahead is Safe Harbor. That's the boat yard we're heading to. stuff on the panel here except the refrigerator actually i'm not even gonna, I'm gonna turn off the refrigerator too it'll run off the dc yeah we're hoping to get power while we're here so that we don't lose 
all our condiments and stuff. We don't have a lot in the fridge, but we do have a lot of condiments. Gotta get prepared to go out the back ladder to get off the boat. And off we go. Got some nice gentlemen out here getting her ready for the haul out. So here's how it works. We pulled up to the dock. They then pull the boat forward into the crane cradle. The straps that will hoist the boat out of the water. Then they maneuver the boat. They adjust the straps, add pads to the straps to protect the boat and make sure the weight is distributed properly. reason they're bringing her back down. I'm not sure what that's about. So honey, why do you think they put it back in after they pulled it out a little bit? For the weight distribution. So they're just being meticulous about making sure everything's even and where they put the pads to make sure they're pulling it at the right angle. Right. So it's not listening to one side, forward, aft. A view of the boat we don't normally get to see, that's for sure. Then they raised her to the full height and it's moved into the boat yard. Next, they power wash the entire bottom. Good. Running gear's looking good. Socks, letters. Oh yeah. This is what the boat yard looks like. We're heading to the cruise terminal. We're about to pass. See y'all. We went by her a minute ago. Here we go. As we headed out to the Pacific, we passed Shelter Island and got a completely different view of our little neighborhood. We love the liveaboard life and we're so blessed. Thanks for joining us on the adventure and we'll see y'all soon.